Wallace here again, contributing editor at Book Riot with your Monday video. Um, I'm talking about books this week that are about happiness. I recently had somebody recommend the book Happiness to me by Matthew Ricard. He is a monk, uh, a Buddhist monk, who is, there's been studies done and he's like the happiest man on earth based on these studies of like measurements that you can do on people's brains and how they they feel, how they answer questions. I really, I really don't know how you can measure happiness to be completely honest, but that's just like one of his qualifications. It's actually, I don't think it's on the back of the book. It's just something that the person who recommended the book to me told me. Um, it's, it's interesting. I've, I had this book on my shelf already. I don't read a ton of books about happiness because like I said, I'm, um, I'm, I am I typically tend towards the more practical side of things. So if you can't really measure something, I'm not always very interested in it. But um, I did happen to have this book on my shelf and they said, oh, you have to read Happiness. It's such a great book. So I grabbed it off my shelf. I have not opened this one yet. Well, that's not true. I've opened it. I've looked through it, but I haven't read the whole thing yet. It, it's based He's a, he's a Buddhist monk, so I, um, he uses Buddhist theories about happiness and, um, you know, attachment and placing our happiness on places or things or people and how not to do that. Uh, so I will get to this one. I'm including it in this video because um, I know there are people out there who this is going to resonate with the most. So I will get to this one. I do plan on reading it and I have skimmed it. Um, so if you do like, you know, Buddhist principles or the idea of like happiness not lying in what you have or where you are, who you're with or whatever, um, then this book is probably for you. I just got this book in the mail. It comes out in June. It's called The Book of Human Emotions. I'm sorry to talk about it so early, but you know, June will actually be here before we know it, you guys. It's almost March. But um, this one is, it, it, it's not... It's not like a dictionary, it, but it is, as you can see, it's almost like a Wikipedia, but kind of. So like indignation, then you have like all of this explaining like, what is indignation? And it's like, it does it with like all the feelings. And this I kind of like because it's like, okay, give me the definition of something. What are we really talking about? Can like, we actually dissect feelings and that I'm very interested in. So this isn't just happiness, but it's like, you know, happiness along with all of the other emotions and all of the emotions that actually go into what I think of as happiness and you probably think of as happiness, which may be different emotions entirely that we each consider part of happiness. Um, but so this is coming out in June. You can mark your calendars for that. Again, it's the Book of Human Emotions coming out by Little Brown. This one is one that I happened to love like a couple of years ago. The Myths, the myths of Happiness. And this one is just for those of you who are like me in the fact of like practicality. If you are somebody who is just practical and are just like, okay, I don't really believe that you can like always be happy or always be excited about something and I don't need that part of life. I don't know how to explain it. Like I can be a very sentimental person. I can be super sappy about certain things like my baby and like keeping memories from my past, but I'm not super romantic sappy and I'm not... um happy sappy like I'm not like constantly looking to be happy I'm more like I like to examine what happiness is I'm more of somebody who likes to be really content I mean I love being excited I'm I, this is very hard see happiness is very hard to define or even talk about but I do like talking about the myths of happiness and like for me, it's not very practical to live every day thinking you can live every day looking to be happy because I just don't think that that's realistic. So to me, that doesn't make me happy. It makes me, gives me anxiety. Um, but talking about the myths of happiness and like what we think will make us happy compared to what scientifically is proven to make people happy, that is very interesting to me. That is kind of what this book is like. So if you're somebody who's a little bit more on that scale of human emotions and dealing with your emotions, then this will be the book for you. I kind of went along the scale there from like, you know, a, a Buddhist like um, philosophical way of thinking about happiness 
to something that's like, okay, here are some definitions of feelings all the way to like, let's be practical about happiness. Uh, and I said so something a little, so maybe a little something for everybody as far as emotions go. But, you know, reading about our emotions and reading about things that have to do with like our inner lives every now and then is a nice way to take a break from fiction if you've been kind of fictioned out. So if you have books that you love about happiness or about, you know, cultivating the kind of life that you want, um, whether they are, you know, anything from spiritual all the way to like super practical, put them below. We have readers from every walk of life. So let's make a list down below that people can look through the comments and find books that they like uh, about this topic. Until then, happy reading, and I will see you next Monday. Bye.